Life moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. Son, you got a panty on your head. I feel the need. The need for speed. We are back with the final episode in this series. We're to the letter Z of the most quotable films of all time from A to Z. Maybe we'll start this process again uh, and go through the alphabet again. But for now, we're talking about Zoolander due to your votes. And uh, one of us hasn't even seen the movie, but he's still going to weigh in on it. <laughs> Uh, I know you probably wouldn't have liked the movie anyway, so I understand. Yeah, it's definitely not my type of movie. Yes, uh, but yeah, I'm still interested to see what you picked. I know. So now this thing is finally done. Yes. I mean, I don't know how many weeks this was because there was a, you know, there was some weeks where we skipped. Right. You know, because of... Uh, yeah, exactly. I think we did, uh, I think it's like 22 or maybe 23 episodes of this. Uh, we're actually almost at 100 episodes on the channel overall, believe wow. it or not. Pretty crazy. A uh, milestone. Yeah, we'll have to celebrate that when it happens. Yes. But uh, but yeah, let's start off with Zoolander. I think you started last time, so I'll give you my number five first. Um, it's of course, most of the quotes on my list are from Zoolander himself. And it's when he says, did you ever think that maybe there's more to life than being really, really, really ridiculously good looking? <laughs> Which is like, that, that's kind of the joke that just keeps going throughout the movie. But, uh, what, what's your number five? My number five. Uh, Derek says... So join now, because at the Derek Zoolander Center for Kids Who Can't Read Good and want to learn to do other stuff good, too, we teach you that there's more to life than just being really, really, really good-looking. Right, kids? That's my number three. Yeah. God. That's such a good quote. <laughs> I'm laughing because you're laughing. <laughs> oh, man. The Derek Zoolander Center for Kids Who Can't Read Good. <laughs> classic uh all right so my number four is um also zoolander uh derek says if there's anything that this horrible tragedy can teach us it's that a male model's life is a precious precious commodity just because we have chiseled abs and stunning features it doesn't mean that we too can't not die in a freak gasoline fight accident which, to me, that's my favorite part of the movie. In the beginning, since you haven't seen it, I'll fill you in on the background of that quote. In the beginning of the movie, there's just these guys hanging out that are all male models, and they decide to get orange mocha frappuccinos and then have a gasoline fight at the, the gas station, and then they all just explode. And this happens in, like, the first five minutes of the movie. <laughs> Oh, that's so great. All right, so what's your number four? Okay. Maury Falstein. Uh-huh. I, I like that name. Now. Yeah, that's a good name. <clears throat> Mugato is so... I have to blink. My eyes are blurry. Mugato is so hot right now. He could take a crap wrap it in tin foil, put a couple of fish hooks on it, and sell it to the Queen Elizabeth as earrings. <laughs> yeah, that's great. And I'm glad you got uh, something involving Mugato in there, <laughs> which that, just that name alone uh, is hilarious when Will Ferrell plays that guy like so crazily. But yeah, Maury Paulstein. Uh, okay, so I did my number three, uh, which was just the same as your number five, the uh, Center for Kids Who Can't Read Good. So what's your number three? Uh, Hansel says, or Hansel says, excuse me, brah, 
And Derek says, you're excused, but I'm not your bra. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yeah, they uh, in the beginning of the movie, Hansel and um, Zoolander are kind of rivals, but then they become friends. So um, <laughs> really deep stuff here in this plot, I'm telling you. Uh, so my number two, I have a Hansel quote. The I, I'm surprised I didn't put this as my number one because it's it's so classic Owen Wilson. But he says, So I'm repelling down Mount Vesuvius when suddenly I slip and I start to fall. And I mean, I'm about to die. Hot bread, Zeke. Just falling. Ah, ah, I'll never forget the terror. When suddenly I remember, holy shit, Hansel, haven't you been smoking peyote for six straight days? And couldn't some of this maybe be in your mind? And? It was. I was totally fine. I've never even been to Mount Vesuvius. I guarantee you Owen Wilson came up with that line himself. Um, all right. So, so that wasn't on your list, I take it. No, it wasn't. All right. What's your number two? I was trying not to do long ones. All yeah. Time. Right, right. Uh, so a press a pro tester. Oh, to. Screw you and your little dog too. Look out! Um. All right. So my number one involves um the center for kids who can't read good, and it's when they show him the model for the center, and his reaction to it is. is this a center for ants <laughs> uh, it's so dumb but it's great all right so what's your number one derek says thought you were going to tell me what a bad you googleizer i am a what a you googleizer one who speaks at funerals or did you think i'd be too stupid to know what a you googly was uh yeah so the the joke of the movie is just he's a very dumb male model and um yeah they it's it's a dumb movie but it, it's pretty it's pretty funny i don't think that you'd uh you probably did a good thing by skipping it but do you, you have a pretty good list for not watching the movie i have to say <laughs> all right so uh i did my homework yeah very nicely done I haven't seen it in a while, honestly, myself. So, uh, all right. So I guess I'm going to put, since I have seen the movie, I'm going to put my one above yours, the Center for Ants, and then we'll put the Oogly as number two. Then, let's see. We probably should put the one that we had in common as our number three, the... Um, so join now kids since that was my number three and then four and five can be both of our number twos which will be hansel and the screw you mugato and your little dog too okay this was easy <laughs> i take it you probably don't have any honorable mentions on this one Uh, well, I have a long Derek Zoolander time. Yeah. Do you understand that the world does not revolve around you and your do whatever it takes, ruin as many people's lives so long as you can make a name for yourself as an investigative journalist, no matter how many friends you lose or people you leave dead and bloodied along the way, just so long as you can make a name for yourself as an investigator journalist. No matter how many friends you lose or people you live dead and bloodied and dying along the way. A, a tad bit repetitive there, but yeah. <laughs> Very nice. All right, well... Uh... 
Now we will show you in order the top five quotes from Zoolander, according to three and four right now. So I'm repelling down Mount Vesuvius when suddenly I slip and I start to fall. And I mean, I'm about to die. Hot bread, Zeke. Just falling. Ah, ah, I'll never forget the terror. When suddenly I remember, holy shit, Hansel, haven't you been smoking peyote for six straight days? And couldn't some of this maybe be in your mind? And it was. I was totally fine. I've never even been to Mount Vesuvius. So join now, because at the Derek Zoolander Center for Kids Who Can't Read Good and want to learn to do other stuff good, too, we teach you that there's more to life than just being really, really, really good looking. Right, kids? I thought you were going to tell me what a bad Yagoogalizer I am. A what? A Yagoogalizer? One who speaks at funerals? Or did you think I'd be too stupid to know what a Yagoogly was? Is this? A center for ants? Yeah. yeah. Got that over with. All <laughs> right. So uh, good episode, I have to say. So now um, the question is where we go from here. And we've decided since, um, first of all, uh, it's been a little while since 2022 has ended, and also the Academy Awards are right around the corner. Our next episode will be our top five movies of 2022, which uh, may have one or two of those movies mentioned. We'll see. Um, so join us next time. I think it'll be two weeks from now, our next episode. And then from there, who knows, maybe we'll start the quotable movies again from uh, the letter A and see what happens. No! <laughs> hey our most views come from that series so uh, we shall see we'll take it one episode at a time but uh all right everybody we'll see you on the next one love you love you too all right bye bye